Hello, my reading friends, and welcome to story time. Today, I'll be reading "Kindness Is My Superpower." If you have this book, go and grab it, and we'll read it together. And if you don't want to miss any of my stories, click on the little blue butterfly in the corner of the screen. Come read with me. Kindness is my superpower, by Alicia Ortego. I'm Lucas, just an ordinary boy, and this is Teddy, my favorite toy. I like to eat sweets, jellies, and cakes, but sometimes I make some mistakes. You see, yesterday I was in a very bad mood, so sadly I did something extremely rude. I teased my friend Lisa for wearing glasses. It made her cry for the rest of her classes. <laughs> When I got home, I was greeted by my mom. I was sad to see her face looking glum. Honey, you made your friend Lisa cry. Hurting people's feelings is wrong. Do you know why? You should always be kind, my dear mother said. I knew I'd done wrong, so I. Bowed my head. What does it mean to be kind? I implored. Mom hugged me tightly when she did my heart soared. Kindness is shown when you say a gentle word. Be kind to your sister and even a bird. You can be kind to someone who makes you mad. You can be kind to someone who's feeling sad. Be kind and respect those who are older than you. Show respect and kindness to younger ones too. Kindness is shown helping someone in need, and kindness is shown when you do a good deed. I pondered her words and couldn't sleep all night. I wanted to be kind and genuinely polite. So right then and there, without any warning, I decided to become very kind in the morning. And in the morning, the first thing I did do, when Mom made me breakfast, I told her. Thank you. I changed out of my pajamas, warm, soft, and red. I put away my toys and made my own bed. On the bus, I behaved the best as could be. I even asked a new boy to sit next to me. At school, I helped him find his classroom too. I knew it was the very least I could do. I said good morning to all of my friends. I even shared my brand new crayons and pens. Then, I saw Lisa. Her eyes still looked sad. I approached her slowly, still feeling bad. I'm sorry I teased you," I said with bent head. Lisa gave me a smile. "It's okay," she said. I realized that kindness is really super cool. So I was also kind when I got out of school. 
Outside, I waited my turn on the slide. And you know what? I felt good and happy inside. I was patient and kind, not angry at all. And I even found joy helping a boy find his ball. I picked up the rubbish, even though it wasn't mine. Kindness and doing good deeds made my heart shine. I love going shopping with mom to buy food. Holding open doors put me in such a good mood. And after we bought my favorite toy and a treat, mom and I helped the old lady cross the street. I continued to be kind with joy and with glee, watching Dad fall asleep in front of the TV. He was sleeping on the sofa instead of his bed, so I covered him with a blanket and kissed his forehead. I helped my little sister tie her shoelace. I was glad to see the big smile on her face. Being kind is amazing for everyone's sake, like giving your neighbor a yummy piece of cake. I like to help mine water his flowers. It really seems kindness has magical powers. I no longer do mean things like before. I don't tease others and I don't slam the door. I stop being selfish and I share all my toys. I don't shout out loud or make too much noise. Kindness is something anyone can learn. Give to others and ask nothing in return. Helping others is simply the best thing to do. When you are kind, kindness comes back to you. What a sweet story. And I just love at the end their suggested acts of kindness. It costs nothing but can mean so much to someone. Remember, always be kind. Until our next story. Bye for now.